Hey guys, my uh, brother Miles was just telling me about an awesome thing going on that's here to stop racism. Apparently, athletes can wear whatever shoes they want for a limited amount of time and they can express awareness. Now, we usually express breast cancer awareness by having a pink phone or pink shoes because women have never heard of breast cancer. And if it wasn't for us uh, virtue signaling, then they would all die because they'd have no idea of uh, what this rare disease is that kills tens of thousands of women a year. Um, so a lot of them are taking advantage of this opportunity to showcase racism. There's one guy, I'm not good with these names, Damon Green, basketball player. His, his shoe says, sideline racism, put it off to the side. Let's stop racism via basketball. Yeah, because if there's one thing that you see racism at, it's basketball games. God damn it, I want the white team to win. Don't give those Negroes basketballs. That's a white man's game. <laughs> the entire Mets team doesn't even speak English. Racist, it's the least racist place on earth. But anyway, this other guy, Tyran Machu, he is a football player, and these are his cleats, they say, sideline racism. And I think the question that comes to everyone's mind when they see this is, is that what fucking athletic shoes look like these days? Dude, it is. This is one of the most popular shoes around right now. So's this. This is a hot shoe. Hey, you want to play football? Why don't you put these on? I couldn't believe it. I went to, I went to a, a local sports store, and I thought I should get my kids some shoes. I love Air Jordans. It's kind of fun buying, you know, the classic Nikes for your kids. And I go in there. There was not one normal shoe. All shoes are designed by Jeremy Scott and B. Arthur or something, some crazy old lady and an eccentric gay dude. Kids can't have normal shoes anymore. Every single shoe. First of all, they're all Under Armour for some reason. There's barely any Nikes. But every single shoe there, was fucking insane. Check this out. What the hell is going on with shoes these days? I'm trying to get my kid basketball shoes and look at all these things. I mean, I like fashion. I like being fun and funky, but this is way beyond Jeremy Scott. This, these, these are what your boy wears? These are the, look at this. This is the whole variety. Look at these. This is like a mentally ill Star Wars fan. And it gets worse. Check this out. Like, what are these? Look at this weave that's going on. It's like the buyer is an old lady and a gay man, and they're just impressed with the latest technology. Now, these are women's fast pitch, whatever the hell that is. Under, everything is Under Armour, too. You can only get Under Armour. You can't get black and white stuff anymore. Look at these things. Like, I feel like even gays would see them and, and go, girl, what are you doing? That's, take it down a notch. Jesus Christ. I just want to get normal. I have to go to eBay now and buy shoes that are vintage. And they're fucking expensive. But they're not 119 for these. And you go, yeah, okay, Gavin, but where are the normal ones? There are no, no normal ones. There's no such thing as normal shoes anymore. Okay, but just get some black shoes, some normal black shoes. Okay, what about these space boots from the year 20 million? Look at these things. They're from Guardians of the Galaxy, for fuck's sakes. Look at this. It looks like intestines. How is this a shoe that a normal guy would have on for $139? Look, I don't have a problem with gays or old ladies, but why do they take over shoes? And why do they take shoes away from our children? I don't really care if you sideline racism or if you have breast cancer. What I do care about you doing is ruining the common shoe. You said Damon, but it's Draymond, but you said I don't know what these guys' names are, so. Hi folks, that was a Rebel Media short. I have my own show on Rebel Media called How's It Going? You gotta pay for that one. Check it out right here.